Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 flight attendant beauty hacks that you need to know. So without further ado, let's get started! Okay, so if you don't know me yet, I have been flying in the Philippines in the domestic airline for three years and I've been flying international in the Middle East for three years and I've already have resigned from my job and now I'm doing um, the mommy thing full time and I also have a mommy channel you can check out my mommy channel on the side of this uh, home video or on the side of my home page if you are interested in my mommy content but I have thought about this video and yun nga naisip ko na what if magbigay ako ng tips kung mga natutunan kung paano magpaganda while I was still flying as a flight attendant and the things na ginagawa ko uh, to maintain myself as a flight attendant which nagagamit ko siya ngayon even though I'm not flying anymore super gamit na gamit ko siya guys so anyways let's go with tip number one tip number one you could use home goods. Ako, I love using natural products uh, on my skin because I think that my skin can process it more and it's a little bit more uh, good for the nature or environment and it's also very inexpensive or affordable. So the first hack that I want to show you guys is this little thing called baking soda. Okay, so I love this brand from Arm & Hammer but you can also use different brands of your choosing. Okay. So this is what it is. I use this in three things. I use it, I mix it with my facial wash, a tiny pinch of it, and then my facial wash becomes a facial scrub. Okay, so when you exfoliate your skin every day with very like uh, matatapang products, it will get irritated. But if you use a gentle scrub every day, you will look like you're glowing from the inside okay so everyday micro peeling or micro exfoliation naturally can be done by adding some pinch of baking soda on your regular facial wash mga facial foam or facial you know cream that you have so i find this best in something like ponds facial wash something like that so i find it best to work with that i don't know if it is so compatible siya pero i like it in a cream based uh, facial wash kasi nagiging facial scrub siya. Okay? And also I like mixing the baking soda with lemon with lemon because um, if you mix like 3 tablespoon of baking uh, 2 tablespoon of baking soda and like half of a lemon squeeze it into that mixture and then make into a paste add some more ingredients as needed to make it into a thick paste you can put it all over your face you can use it as a facial mask what it will do is the vitamin c in the lemon and the cleaning properties of baking soda can help you whiten your dark spots like all those sun spots that you might have or blemishes that you might have pimple scars it helps it in the long run so it's not an instant thing it's not very instant but it's something that i'd like to do to help my skin recover from the dark spots and hopefully in the future fade those dark spots also i use this baking soda its third use is i use it as a teeth whitener so all you have to do is you have your toothbrush with the toothpaste just dip it dip it inside dip it inside the baking soda and then what it does is it polishes your teeth okay it makes it look whiter okay and through time it will maintain your teeth if you have done whitening for your teeth it will maintain your teeth and it will make your teeth uh, much better so if you have really yellowish teeth right now maybe you should go to the dentist but for maintenance I like using baking soda okay so that's the first hack that first beauty hack I always am um, equipped with Arm and Hammer baking soda, not for baking, but for its beauty benefits. Okay, the next thing I just want to share with you is I have struggled with my eye bags. As you can see, I still have lots of eye bags right now. Eh, kahit na I'm still 
right now much more because I'm already a mom but even before I was born with eye bags <laughs> okay so I always have dark and baggy eye bags so the best um, hack that I've learned to take care of my eye bags aside from going to sleep using cucumber is that I use potato you know <laughs> the raw potato I cut it in slices and then I put it here in my eye bags it has um, apparently it has chemicals that will help you with your eye bags so it makes it appear less dark and when it interacts with your skin it helps it you know become replenished and something like that but i've been using potatoes or potato skin whenever i'm cooking i always reserve some so put it in my eyes and it helps okay and also um speaking of eye bags now for my hack number three is i always color correct my eye my eye my eye bags okay my concealer okay concealer is not enough especially if you have dark dark under eyes okay so i'd like you seeing this la girl in orange color um i'm just gonna put a picture right here because i don't have it right now it corrects the darkness okay because if you just put concealer sometimes nakikita pa rin na medyo grayish or darkish but if you do the color correction it will cancel out the darkness under your eyes and then put the concealer on top of it and then viola you instantly have brighter eyes it looks like you have slept eight hours even if you didn't so yeah if you want to see how i use it i have a makeup tutorial which came out last week you can check out the video here put it here uh it's a makeup tutorial for flight attendant applicants you'll see how i use the color correction on that video and um the next thing that i want to show you guys um, we're going back to teeth whitening okay so if for example you don't want to go to the dentist para makakuha ng uh, teeth whitening session you, I like using 3D uh, crest 3D whitening strips this is what I use I've been using this for forever more than 10 years na I think you can buy this from the states pero I can link it down below meron to available sa Lazada you can buy it by the box it's a little bit pricey but it's much cheaper than having to go to the dentist I think the dentist at least 10,000 to whiten your teeth but this one when you open it up my strips dito and then nilalagay ko siya sa ngipin ko and then ang nangyayari nagkakaroon ng chemical reaction and nagwa-whiten yung teeth ko so this is what I have been using. If you see my very very first video, you see I have the worst teeth of all. It's really yellowish on some sides. I've had it. I've had work done on my teeth already, veneers. But all the other, all the other teeth, uh, much yellowish. So I had to make sure that I whiten my other teeth para maka maka catch up sa color ng veneers. And now finally, everybody is like same color at least almost same color as each other so uh, after I did this I did this for like one week the first time or I finished the box the first time and then you can only do this once a year so what I do is I don't do it yearly but I make sure that I maintain my teeth so I don't do it na isang sabayan na lang this this years this past few years kasi okay na yung teeth ko so what I do is like almost every month I would do one one strip whitening para pang ano lang siya pang maintain aside from using baking soda on my toothpaste kasi having white teeth it's the first thing that you see if you're a flight attendant it's the first thing that they see when you smile and you greet customers and if you have nice teeth it will be like uh so nice it, it shows that you have good hygiene you take care of yourself and it's so nice to look at diba so yeah teeth whitening this is the not sponsored but i really use this okay the next thing that i want to talk about since we're doing uh, beauty hacks that we do realistically as flight attendants okay so every i want to talk about peeling face peeling okay so what i can recommend for you guys is what has been recommended for me as well by other flight attendants who i love the skins <laughs> okay whom i love how they look is um we make sure that almost every quarterly or whenever we can afford it we try to go and have some work done on our skin we go only for one i know we we love going for if for example you're a flight attendant and you are going to manila 
bakasyon mo, it's your only chance para makakuha ng facial. Go-to facial namin is glycemic peel. Okay? They have it in Bello. It's called the glycemic peel. Or anything na parang micro-peeling on the face. So, I used to do Fraxel on my face. Yung laser na Fraxel. That's like 2,000 kami nun eh. Sa may ano, 2,000 pesos sa amin. Sa, kasi covered ng insurance the rest sa Middle East. Pero I don't know how much it is here in the Philippines. Pero yeah, we are actually sponsored by our company to have these procedures done on ourselves to maintain ourselves, you know, to look good and feel good as well. So, yun yung mga benefits and perks na nakukuha ko sa pagiging international pilot. And then, so, okay yun. The next beauty hack that I have for you is that what we usually do what we usually do as flight attendants as working flight attendants uh, in every flight, we are given one liter of water okay like a really big bottle of water so what we do is we go to the business class we get some we get some lemon slices we get some lemon slices okay and put it in the bottle that way our bot our water is alkaline and then we drink that for the whole flight we make sure we finish one liter every flight so staying hydrated is very important if you want to have good skin so you need water to make that happen okay the next tip that i have for you guys is rose water rose water is not available generically here in the philippines but i found it in the middle east it's like 70 pesos for one rose water and the rose water what it does it helps brighten the skin okay so it's just like vitamin c but it's made of roses and what it does is nagpo brighten talaga yung skin mo even though na Whatever color it is, morena ka ba or maputi ka ba, it will just make your skin glow and brighten. So I use it as a mist and a toner, okay? But the closest thing that I can find here in the Philippines, because I've been living here for almost three years now, after flying, is this one. Thayer's facial, ano, facial toner. Okay, and this one has rose petals. So I have... Yes, baby. I have seen raves about this one, so hopefully it works same as rose water. So if you haven't been using mists yet, mist is really good to hydrate your skin. We usually use a mist, whatever it is, but my favorite is rose water. We usually use a mist in between flights. Um, we have it on our Kikai kits, in our handbags, para ma freshen up yung skin mo and also ma tone na rin siya, even if you have your makeup on. And then, um, the next tip I have for you guys is hair care. Hair care. Okay, so for hair care, what we usually do or what I learned from the Middle East is people love to oil their hair. So most flight attendants, they love, I know, Moroccan oil. It's also called Argan oil. It's from Morocco. And if we go to Morocco, we try to buy the generic ones, yung mga mura lang, na pure Moroccan oil, walang brand. And then we put it on our hair overnight and then the next day when we wash your hair so also you try to do a clearing shampoo every week para yung mga residue ng shampoo it sometimes builds up and it causes dandruff and everything so once a week i still do this with myself i use the neutrogena um clearing shampoo i have it here sa baay and then i use it once a week Para lang ma clear out yung mga residue ng whatever shampoo you are using at the time. And also, if you really want to reset your hair, maglagay ka na um, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> si Raver. Apple cider vinegar. And then ihalo mo yung isang cup to like uh, three cups of water. And then one cup of apple cider vinegar. And then you try to put it on your hair. Pang wash up. So, disclaimer, if may blonde ka, mas magaano, mas titingkad yung blonde mo if you do, do, you do this on your hair. So, ilagay mo siya sa hair mo, i-wash mo siya, mabaho lang siya. Pero after na mawala yung amoy, pag na-dry na yung hair mo, sobrang lambot ng hair mo actually. I think, uso to sa Pilipinas, they call this the consuka method. Where in regular suka, inahalo nila sa conditioner. It's the same effect, I think. Pero yun yung na-learn ko before na technique okay so you can use a apple cider vinegar to reset your hair kasi apple cider why apple cider because apple cider has the perfect ph level so 
if ibabad mo yung hair mo sa apple cider, parang mag, yung hair, pH level ng hair mo magiging perfect na rin siya. Okay, so the next tip that I have for you guys is a makeup tip. Okay, a makeup tip na you can use if especially if you have sweaty face. Kagaya ko, I have very sweaty face or oil. I'm not oily, but I'm just sweaty on this area. I'm generally dry. But also for oily people, you can use this tip. So, I've learned this tip from Ray Hermar. She is a vlogger and she said that her friend who works in the uh, opera, opera when they do opera, but I don't know, or theater, theater, when they do their theater makeup, it's usually lots of lights. Kaya masyadong mainya talagang papawisan ka, diba? So, parang hack na na-learn nila is they use deodorant. Deodorant in a serum form, okay? Specifically, Rexona serum. They use it before sila mag-makeup. So, they use it like as a primer. Okay? And then, as a primer, you use it... Ilagay mo muna siya sa face mo. Um, it means, maglagay ka muna ng nung lotion na yun sa face mo bago ka maglagay ng concealer, tsaka ng foundation. And what it does, it's an antiperspirant. It helps you na hindi ka pagpawisan. Okay? So, effective siya. Especially if you're doing a long flight. Yun, yun. Um... Also, if you wanna do just makeup in general and ayaw mo pagpawisan ka, walang hulas makeup, it's worth a try. So, I've been doing that as well and it works wonders and parang nakocover din yung mga pores mo. So, yun. And nagsistick pa much longer yung makeup mo as well. Sorry ha, medyo shaky kasi yung anak ko, sinishake yung tripod. <laughs> okay, my two boys are here with me. So the last but not the least tip that I have for you guys is this is one this one is for cold weather or for if you are going somewhere na winter yon kasi usually pag winter grabe nagde-dry talaga yung skin ko I have lots of dry patches and sometimes your skincare sa summer is not as effective as yung skincare mo if you use the same skincare during the winter so the tip that I have for you guys is during the winter you have to moisturize even more but don't rely on ano, on oil alone. Kasi some people, I do this before, a mistake I did before. Pag winter, oil lang talaga nilalagay ko. And usually, okay naman siya, effective naman siya. Pero kasi what the oil does, hindi niya moisturize yung skin mo. Parang sinisil out niya lang. So, the best hack that you can do is put moisturizer first and then put oil on top of it. I know, di ba? Medyo parang iki yaki pakinggan mm, yes kasi um, the science behind that is that yung moisturizer it will moisturize your skin and then the oil will stop the cold from getting the moisture out of your skin so para siyang nagiging protective shield so you need to do that but if you do just the oil lang okay lang din siguro pag after ka naligo medyo moisturize or wet pa yung skin mo pero pag oil lang talaga, hindi ka naligo and everything. Walang magagawa yun sa skin mo. It just protects your skin from the cold. Pero, if you do, moisturize plus oil, pack, pack, pack yun. Yun alaw ng anak yung camera. Pack, pack, pack. Talagang maganda at magiging uh, maganda yung resulta sa skin mo kasi mas lalambot yung skin mo, mas ma-moisturize siya, and then protected siya sa weather. Make sure that you hit the notification bell because we're gonna have more makeup tutorials and beauty videos on this channel here at Miss K. Chris. And, um, for the meantime, you can watch my flight attendant cabin crew makeup here and interview tips down here. And make sure that you subscribe here on the picture here okay so marami salamat sa panonood thank you so much for watching and i will fly with you soon bye Mwah. bye Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> follow mo talaga si mama no follow mo lahat si mama ginagawa ni mama delikado tayo nito pati make up <laughs>